Hi Crystal, I thought I'd make you your own custom video so you can see how we would go about looking for more records on your Moravets side of the family, especially since you and I would be working in the same records. Okay, they are in the Prague archives and the URL for that is E-B-A-D-A-T-E-L-N-A dot S-O-A-P-R-A-H-A dot C-Z. Now, of course, since you're going to be using this a lot, one of the things I would do is set up a shortcut or favorite, a bookmark, whatever type of computer you're using so that it hops right to it. Now, <clears throat> here's how you would go about finding the records. Well, first of all, you can say English. It seems to remember what you did and comes up that way before. Search. The first thing we will do is the type of search. It's going to be by provenance type. In other words, a parish book, Roman Catholic. And the district you're going to be looking at is Zlebi. If you hit the letter Z, you get down there. I had one computer where I could hit the up arrow and it would wrap around the back. This one doesn't, neither does my PC. I have no idea which one of them it was. Maybe the tablet. Anyhow, if you just hurry on all the way down to the bottom and then go up four, you get Zlebi. And then search. It comes up with a list of the books available. There are 37. I recommend that if this isn't set at 50, if it's set at less than 50, that you change it to 50. I sometimes forget to go to the second page. Now, the first record that you would probably find is the marriage record as you're working backwards. And um, Gabriella found that. It happened to be this one. It's in book 33. Let's go back and take a look at this. We have the records of births, marriages, and deaths, and then an index of birth, marriages, and deaths. You always hope for an index. So it was um, 1890 was the marriage. And as we look here, we do not see any 1890 indexes for marriages, which meant Gabriella pretty much dug through it herself. And it was... Um, book number 33 here. To pick the book, you simply click on the number over here. Uh, we won't do that because we already have it found. Let's take a look at the headings. I can increase it a little bit. Jenich Brautigam Bridegroom. Neviesta Braut Bride. Meno Name. So let's go down, and I'm not going to look at Jan so much as Barbora. The bride is Barbora Moravets, Catholic, Manjelka, Manjelska means legitimate, Dzera, daughter, Josefa, a means of Joseph, of Joseph. Moravets, Moravce is of Moravets. He is a Krejci. You can look up the list of occupations in Blanca's blog. From Hostovlice, number 45. And she is the daughter of Franciska, who was born from Jan Bohati, who is a Kovaj, and he is from Podmok. Let's go back and look at our list of villages here. And we do not see Podmok on this list. So it's in a different um, organization. It's not in Zlebi, let's put it this way. It may or may not be in this district. I suspect it would be. But without researching, I won't know. Okay. Then the next thing was the birth. 
Let's go back and take a look at birth. Uh, we know from what Gabriella found that it was 1865, I think. And so 1865 births. Mm, it should be 28. Oh, yes. So, yes, that would be the index. 191 pages. M would be about halfway. So, we'll just go in and ask for page 90, which will end up being a mistake, as we'll see. Dun, 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 dun. While we're waiting, well, it came back. When I enlarge this, I see that I'm in, well, I used to be in the S's. I didn't come up with 90. It brought me back to the previous place I had been. Oh, well. 90 would have brought me to the S's, and then I would have looked up here and realized that I had two indexes in one book, births and deaths, that I needed to adjust. Your Barbora Moravets is on image 63. And this is a great example because it's messed up. There it is. Moravets, Barbora, Dutzera, daughter of Joseph, born the 2nd of Prosenets, Prosenets, I believe. Yes, that's December 1869 in Hostovlice, number 45. And now here's, if you find something in an index, here's how you get back to the book. It is in book D, page, is that a 51 or an 81? Well, go find another D in the vicinity here. There was one. D, here's an 80, it's an 81, to clarify it. And sure enough, well, there it is. And there's the page, oops, 82. So I need to go back one. So, it said it was book D, and these would have labels on their front pages. In fact, if we just go up a little bit, we'll see some other ones, 1839. So it's A, B, C, D, except it's probably A, B, C, and then D is this one. You can actually look at the cover on some of them and see what it is. Okay, so now we're on page 81. And here's our Barbora, different handwriting. <clears throat> Her father is Joseph Morovets, a Catholic. He's a Krejci. We already knew that from the marriage, didn't we? In Hostovlice, notice how they wrap to the next line without using a dash or anything. Number 45. And he is the legitimate son, Manjelski Sin, Sin Yosef, of Yosef Moravets, who's also a Krejci, and it's a different number here, maybe, maybe not. Number 45, oh no, Chislo 45, and Anna, born Paul Nekovaj. Hmm. Seems to me that one of my cousins came from that line, so heck, you and I are related to some of the same people. Number five, from a different city. Oh, nope, mine was from a different one. 
but her mother will get more detail than we had in the wedding. <clears throat> her mother is Francisca, a Catholic, Manjelski de Cera, legitimate daughter of Jan Bohati, who's a Kovaj, and in Podmok, number 42, and Catherine, born Slavic, from Tara Okshesanets, number 15. Oba, both Catholic. My grand, great grandfather, my grandfather, my grandfather was born in Okshesanets, number 22 or 23. And um, if you go back and look at the list, you say, well, it had a V on it. Yes, this is one of those words that began with an O and it had a V in front of it for whatever reason. And then down through the years, the V drops off. But I have been to both of these villages, Hostovitz and Okshesanets. Um, I've been to another one, Skriya. That was another name I spotted somewhere. And in fact, my friend, her husband's great-great-grandmother lived across the pond from my great-great-grandmother in that particular village. And so as I took pictures of it, I accidentally got their location in the picture too, not knowing at the time. So great little place to visit, very, very beautiful area. The castle at Jlebi is a big tourist attraction. I did not go over it, or sorry, go through it. Uh, too tired at the time. But this is um, witness information, etc. here. I don't usually pay much attention to that, although it could give you clues if necessary. So hopefully this helps you out. You can estimate perhaps that um, if she was Go well, back to the wedding. Where are you? See, she was 21 years old, so you would be able to find her marriage or her birth. He was 24. Um, Svobodni means single. If they had been a widow, then something else would have been filled in. And they're Catholic, etc. So you can deduce that maybe if the parents were about 20 when this child was born, you know, they were probably closer to 24 to 30, but then that would give you an idea where to go start looking in the next set of records. So let's say she was 20 to find her parents. Then you would go look at a marriage index for 20 from 90 to 65. Okay, 65 minus 20 would be 45. Do we have an index for 1845? Whoa, we do. So the next step to be would be to go to this index, find the marriage section. And I will warn you that this, some of these indexes are a little unusual in that they index by village. I was very confused until I figured that out. There were these big gaps in between the letters M and what they were where they were grouped for all of the people with one village. So nevertheless it's still easier to look at an index than it is to try to wade through the entire book. So hopefully this helps and um, I will be very happy to keep my eye out for any more of it. Bohati Oh, Slavic records as I work through mine. Bye-bye.